Hey, how's it going, pop-up camper family? Welcome back to It's Poppin'. I hope this video finds you well. I hope you're not on the side of the road, but if you are, don't panic. And if you're not, I applaud you for, you know, getting ahead of the curve, checking out this video, finding out the things that you may or, well, yeah, you probably want to have in your camper in case you ever do get a flat tire. So, as this video suggests, we're gonna go over all the things you need, um, how to, and maybe just some tips and tricks that you might ha find helpful uh, for when and if, really, it seems like it's just a matter of time, when and if you find yourself on the side of the road with a flat tire. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So when you really break it down, there's really only three things you need to make sure you're able to get up and running again if you get a flat tire. So first and foremost, you need a means of getting whatever side of your camper that has the flat tire up and off the ground, right? So for example, we have, um, this is probably the more preferable option in most cases, and that's just a simple bottle jack. Obviously being four tons, this is quite a bit of overkill, but yeah, nevertheless, it'll work. Now here's another cool option, and off the top of my head, I'm wondering, oh, here it is, right here. So this is called a quick change trailer jack, and the cool things about this is that you, well, A, you don't need this, and B, you can just put this right under the axle, roll up onto it, and that'll get your vehicle up and off the ground. But the downside of this is that it really won't work with, um, with a torsion style axle. So if you have um, just a regular fixed axle, this is a good option. Now, the second thing that you're gonna need is some sort of means of getting that wheel off of the axle or getting those lug nuts off. So uh, for example, this one actually came with our Fleetwood, so it's a dedicated, uh, you know, lug nut wrench for that, and it's nice. We can just keep it in the pop-up. We don't have to worry about taking it out for other things. Um, this, on the other hand, is a really nice option because it folds down. It's just a folding um, tire iron. And the cool thing about this is that we can use it on both our tow vehicle as well as our pop-up. So as you can see, I have these labeled with some electrical tape. I forget actually which one's which, but it's one or the other for our tow vehicle and one or the other for the pop-up. Um, but this is really nice and handy. And then finally, of course, you just have your four-way four, four -way tire iron, a little bit more bulky, but nevertheless, it works quite well. So that's two of the things you need, right? Getting your pop-up up and off the ground, and then taking your lug nuts off. Now, the third and final thing, of course, is you need some, I guess, either new tire, and that's where a spare tire would come in. So we, of course, always have our spare tire affixed to the back of the pop-up. I don't know where else we'd put it. But of note, always make sure that when you're filling up your regular tires, you're also filling up that spare, so that way it's good to go if the situation ever arises. But then of course, what can you do if either your spare fails on you or maybe you have a double blowout, something crazy like that? Well then that's where something like a tire repair kit in conjunction with some sort of a 12 volt um, air pump would come in very handy. So all in all, that's really all you need to get um, your pop-up camper back in action. Now, one thing of note that I just wanna encourage you guys to keep handy um, while you're traveling is have some of your uh, wheel chocks handy. That way, when you have your, or I would say before you go and put your pop-up campers, um, or lift it up, I would chalk the other side. That way it just gives you a little bit more stability and you know your pop-up camper is not gonna roll um, you know, front or back if you're working on the other side. All right guys, so let's pretend that this is our blown out wheel. Now of note, we have these know, hubcaps, if you will, that cover up our lug nuts. So if you have something similar to our JQ here, just make sure you have like a, a screwdriver or something in your emergency kit. That way you can actually get access to your lug nuts. Um, also of note, we do have our tow vehicle still hooked up. 
and also that other side has the wheels chalked. And in my opinion, that just gives, you know, the, the best stability we can in the situation where you're probably on the side of the road or in a parking lot somewhere where it might not be the best terrain. So now that we've got access to our lug nuts, um, we're, what we're gonna wanna do, just like with a tar, uh, car tire, before we raise our uh, pop-up camper up, we're gonna wanna loosen up these lug nuts. So now that we've got the lug nuts loosened up a bit, we're gonna wanna find our jack point. Like I said, on the Jayco here, this has the torsion axles. So I, I, uh, what I've read is that it's not recommended to lift uh, from torsion axles, or uh, you know, on torsion axles. So. In this case, uh, for the Jayco, I found the best spot is to lift right on the frame itself. And it's gonna depend on you know what you're working with in terms of obstacles. But uh, for me, at least on this side of the camper, the best is right under here on one of the, um, it's actually a tubular channel. So we know it's nice and robust and it's a good jack point uh, for this side. So without further ado, let's get this um, bottle jack uh, in position and we'll lift up this out of camper. And now of course we can spin the lug nuts the remainder of the way off and take off our wheel. All right, let's see if I can wrestle this thing off. So ironically, I can't actually get the tire off without deflating it. And now that I think about it, I remember that when we actually replaced these tires last summer, I had the same issue taking them off and putting them on. I actually had to deflate them down quite a bit to get them back on and then um, reinflate them once they're installed. So I guess point being is that <laughs> having uh, one of these 12 volt air compressors especially if you're kind of in a tight situation like our tires are in that wheel well might not necessarily be a big deal for you and your pop-up camper but uh, on this Jayco it is so might be a good uh, idea if you fall into the same uh, kind of category with tight wheels uh, to definitely have one of those air compressors so with that being said um, perhaps in lieu of uninflating our uh, current tire on there, taking it off, putting our spare on, and then having to reflate that one. Let's just pretend with me for a second. Um, th this is the point in which we would take our spare tire, pop it on to where this uh, theoretically blow-in tire was, and then of course that one would just go where the spare is. Reinstall all of our lug nuts, and then uh, drop the camper back down using a bottle jack. Now don't forget that when your new, uh, well I should say your spare tire is on and your bottle jack or whatever lifting mechanism you're using is out from underneath to re-torque down your lug nuts using the star pattern. And then I would highly encourage you once you get home to retorque them with a uh, torque wrench if you have it to whatever specifications that your specific pop-up camper requires. But for the time being, I would just tuck, <laughs> torque them down um, as much as your wrench allows and you should be good to go. So there you have it guys. That's how you change a tire on your pop-up camper. And really this video is just to encourage you uh, to make sure that you have a means of jacking up your pop-up camper, whether it's a bottle jack or the um, axle jack, or shoot, maybe even your tow vehicle jack would suffice, but I would definitely rather have these two. Um, making sure you have some sort of lug nut wrench that works um, on your pop-up camper and not just your tow vehicle because they might be different sizes. And then finally, making sure that your spare tire is in good working order and or you have a means of repairing your current one if you don't have a spare for whatever reason. I think the vast majority of pop-ups do, but just in case you don't, um, definitely have some sort of repair kit in conjunction with that 12-volt air compressor. 
Now, speaking of which, it wasn't until I kind of did this, uh, I don't know, walkthrough that I realized that, especially for this Jayco, it would be definitely important to have that air compressor. Um, and also what I learned is that the bottle jack wasn't quite, uh, didn't have quite enough lift or height. And that's where um, two two by sixes came into play. So I'm gonna make sure I also have, you know, some sort of raising or, or lifting blocks for that bottle jack uh, in the future. So what I would encourage you guys to do, as long as this isn't an actual emergency and you're doing it live, is to actually get out there and practice um, with whatever tools you're gonna be using and um, making sure you have those necessary tools. So I'm gonna get this mess all cleaned up. And as always guys, hopefully we see you in the next video. If not, hopefully we see you out there camping.